In an effort to keep their current boss, the CIA plays regime change again. Nope. That's not today's video. Over the weekend, a judge punts on whether it is constitutionally protected for you to transfer your own lawfully acquired property. Nope, that's not today's video either. See what happens when you're only loosely guided by somebody else running a teleprompter. What we're talking about here today is the absolute disaster that was the team and speech at the NRA annual meeting over the weekend. Now, personally speaking, I don't like covering this topic because it is my opinion that there is a media blackout on <laughs> this particular individual and whatever you mention them uh, they just hide the video but there's so much inaccuracy in this particular speech that I suffered through for you so that you didn't have to do it it's like two hours and some change uh, that I had to absolutely do a video and unfortunately it's gonna make me feel gross for the rest of the week so uh, I'm going to run a sponsor on this one, and if they get mad at me, I'm going to leave a perceptible pause here so that we can cut it out. Today's video is brought to you by Excess Sights. I've been using Excess Sights for a long period of time, even before I couldn't see anymore. My eyes have gotten a little bit older, so the big dots are definitely on my list of things that are necessary equipment, but they make other sight profiles as well. Uh, like your standard notch and post sight. And typically, up to this point, they have been tritium sights with a photoluminescent ring around them that gives you a lit up sight regardless of the lighting conditions that you're operating in. But now they also offer high visibility fiber optic sights for those of you who want to take advantage of those for your target shooting. Ensuring that regardless of your lighting conditions, XS makes the brightest sight in any light. And we're back. In the name of honesty and transparency, I have been pretty critical of Trump. And that criticism stems from his job performance as it relates to the Second Amendment during his first term in office. I was a 2016 Trump voter, and I was not a 2020 Trump voter. I left that spot blank. He lost me along the way because I was there when he made promises. Those promises meant something to me. And he turned his back on us in the gun community by his actions in office. And we'll get to those here shortly. But I wanted to lead off with a quote, a segment from his speech this past weekend that kind of drives this a little bit home. Gun owners don't vote. It's so crazy. They should be, you, I would think that they would vote more than any other group of people. And it's just the opposite. They don't vote. No, sir. Your statistics are inaccurate. Gun owners do absolutely vote. We vote very heavily. I'm 37 years old, and I have never missed a vote in my life. Even down to the very local stuff, the stuff that's super inconvenient to, to get to sometimes, I have never, ever missed a vote that I was eligible to make. I've gone out of my way to make votes because... I believe it is a sacred duty to go and vote. What you're referring to in your statistics is that we didn't vote for you last time. And we didn't vote for you last time because you turned your back on us. You lied. I was there in the room when you made those promises. The eight-year assault on your Second Amendment freedoms has come to a crashing end. I directed... Attorney General, to clarify whether certain bump stock devices, like the one used in Las Vegas, are illegal under current law. That process began in December, and just a few moments ago, I signed a memorandum directing the Attorney General to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns. Wait, bump stocks, we're writing that out. I'm writing that out myself. I don't care if Congress does it or not. I'm writing it out myself, okay? No longer will the government be trying to undermine your rights and your freedoms as Americans. Because a lot of times, by the time you go to court, it takes so long to go to court to get the due process procedures. Uh, I like taking the guns early, like in this crazy man's case that just took place in Florida. He had a lot of fires. They saw everything. To go to court would have taken a long time. So you could do exactly what you're saying, but take the guns first 
go through due process second. What has been done to the man legally is absolutely reprehensible. That said, I don't care if you if he's your dude, if you think he ought to be president of the United States, uh, that's you. That's your decision to make. I'm here to talk about the Second Amendment record. It speaks for itself. And this isn't just a one-off thing, right? He also talked about silencers. And more recently, he even backed this up by saying that what he did wasn't really a big deal. Races. Yeah, as you know, the bump stocks are actually a very unimportant thing. And NRA, I went with them and they said, it doesn't mean anything. All right, Kurt. Well, this is all news. Okay, I'll show you something from the most recent speech. I think it's something we have to talk about because you just have to talk about it. In my opinion, Republicans have not been talking about it intelligently. They haven't been talking about it with knowledge or they were just wedded to something. But remember, speak from your heart, but you also have to get elected. Now, to be fair, he is on like a 20 minute tangent there dealing with Roe v. Wade, but I think it draws into question his conviction on issues when it comes to specifically we care about the second amendment i see the way that trump has conducted himself in office and professionally as a businessman and i think that's what draws a lot of people to him however in business particularly Everything is a commodity, and it runs off sort of like a point system. You do some things that are positive, and no doubt Donald Trump did some positive things, Second Amendment related, in his tenure in office. However, I think that the negatives that have resulted from his actions in office uh, have to be evaluated against the positives that he did put in place. So... The point system, you do some positive things and then you've banked up those points and those points are spendable. That's not how the Second Amendment works. We are so done compromising as of like 20 years ago. We are done. There is no more compromise. You do not give ground anymore whatsoever. It is not a movable line. In fact, the only direction we move that line is backwards. In fact... So what I would say is, Donald, you are not speaking about this issue from a place of knowledge. It is clear that you have been led around by the National Rifle Association because they have rifle in their name. You think that they're an authority on these things. They are not. They are in severe decline, and the reason they are in severe decline is because they have been playing the same exact trading game where we do this thing over here, make it look good, and then we can sell off this other stuff. That is not how this works anymore. And the reason that you lost such a large portion of the gun vote in 2020 is because you did this sort of thing, despite the fact that we knew that your opponent was way worse than this than you are. A traitor is a traitor, man. So what would have been really great is if you had actually talked about the Second Amendment during your appearance at a supposedly Second Amendment event. Isn't it nice to have a president that doesn't need a frickin' teleprompter? Isn't that nice? Don't get me wrong. I do like how he can just... But if you really want to know how this speech went as it relates to the Second Amendment... But Biden, his biggest lie of all, he said he's a 6.2 handicap golfer. <laughs> this guy couldn't break 200. Oops, sorry, that was the wrong clip. There are just so many of them. This is what I actually meant. I stood up for our hunters, fishers, and sportsmen like never before. No president has ever stood up for you, the people in this room, like I did, opening up millions of acres of federal land and rolling back Barack Hussein Obama's assault on hunting, fishing, and trapping. It was an assault. He didn't want you to hunt. Why? I don't know. They usually blame the environment. It's the environment. Yep. Still thinks it's about ducks and deer. Are you shocked? I'm not. 
He went through this cycle about three or four times throughout the speech. If you want to go watch it, then obviously uh, knock yourself out. But I think that the record at this point speaks for itself. Again, you make your own decisions at the poll. That's your right. Just don't be under any illusions that Donald Trump is a pro-Second Amendment candidate. Because he's not. He will trade it just as quick for something else that he actually cares about. 